I really don't get what the big deal is with the people in the hostile movies being tortured and mangled in various ways. It's as if these pansies have never been to middle school. Hostel Part 2 follows a group of characters, this time all female, who are being lured to their doom. In fact, you could say that they're entering hostile territory. Now, when it comes to the Hostel movies, I basically have the same feelings as I do about the Amityville series, where the second film is the only one that I like. I mean, I don't think the first Hostel is terrible. I don't hate it by any means, but overall I find it kind of boring. I get that it's supposed to be taking its time to let the audience get to know the characters and everything, but the characters just aren't very interesting, and in the end I didn't really care about them that much. And I will admit that the second film has a couple of unlikable characters as well, but the main girl in this does come off as genuinely likable and down to earth, at least for the most part. She does have one character flaw, much like uh, Marty McFly from Back to the Future. You know, just like uh, Marty got offended every time somebody called him a chicken, this girl flips out every time somebody calls her something else that begins with a C. I mean, I understand that it's an offensive word, and the people who she gets angry at are characters who deserve to get hurt, but committing acts of violence just because somebody said something bad isn't exactly the sort of thing I can applaud. And I like how this movie is very aware of the dangers its main characters face as women. I mean, they're not only at risk of being killed in horrible ways, which is what sick freaks such as myself see these movies for, but also of getting sexually assaulted. There's just more of an air of tension for that. I also like how this movie goes more in depth as to how it works from the bad guy's perspective. You learn more about the evil corporation that secretly sells people to be tortured and killed, and in particular you get to learn about these two guys who are meant to kill the lead character and her best friend. And they are very interesting, and I like the direction that they end up going at the end of the movie. As scary and brutal as Hostel 2 is, though, um, one thing that may make or break this movie for a lot of people is that it really doesn't take itself that seriously. There are a few scenes in the movie where they just inject this really goofy style of humor into really horrible, grotesque moments, and... It's a strange place to find humor, but I must be a strange person because it works for me. Now, I don't really have any complaints with this movie, but at the same time, I wouldn't consider it to be a masterpiece. I mean, far from it. If someone were to tell me that they don't like Hostel Part 2 at all, that they think it's a piece of shit, I wouldn't think any less of them. Kind of like how a certain friend of mine out there now thinks less of my opinion just because I'm not talking about any Friday the 13th sequels this month. But I mean, last time I checked, the world is still spinning, Scott. It's gonna be okay. Overall, I just found Hostel Part 2 to be an entertaining, gory horror movie. I mean, it's not much, but it is better than watching something that puts me to sleep. I would say that if you're a gore hound and this one has somehow slipped under your radar, then go out there and check this one out. And that's all I've got to say about the movie. I hope you all have a good one.